guys welcome back I'm gonna start knocking down this filler with my six inch sander here this is a 3m sander it goes forward and orbit so orbital so it goes both directions um, I'm gonna knock this down and that down to see what it looks like see if I need a second coat or not um, but like I said once I get this knocked down and where I want it I'm gonna spray some of that spray can primer on it just to seal it up for today while I'm working on mounting it to the car and fixing the back door. So I'm gonna show you real quick how quick this sander will knock this down. I currently have 80 grit on there. spot so far in the metal right here that little dot is a high spot <clears throat> so I'm gonna take my hammer with the back side of it which is like almost like a pick and I'm gonna lightly tap this down that should be all it needs so I'm gonna go ahead and finish sanding this down and put one more coat over the whole surface just to make sure that I get all this smooth, especially where I just tapped that down. I'm going to hit that little spot over there. So let me get this sanded down, and then we'll put another coat on. Okay, I'm going to use the same stuff again. I found a couple other spots that were high, little tiny spots. That's where the uh, studs were welded. So I lightly tapped them down. Now we're going to put one more coat on here, and we should be good to go. That down there is good. That only took one coat, and I sanded off where I had gone onto the shiny paint. So that's all gone, nice and smooth. So one more coat down here should finish this up. And then we'll be ready to put a little spray can primer on it. And then at that point, I'll move the car over here and um, <clears throat> start taking the interior door panel off and stuff like that. I'm just gonna do that off camera. You guys saw me last night take the interior door panel off this door. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the other door off camera. And then we'll get it unbolted off the car so that we can get this one installed onto the car so we can start shaping that back door, getting it back to where it needs to be. Now, if you watch how I'm uh, mixing my filler here, I am not stirring it. I am actually kind of just going folding over. That keeps your pinholes down in your filler. You'll have a lot less pinholes if you do it like this rather than stirring it. Stirring it just creates a ton of pinholes, so you don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and spread this on here, try to spread it on as smooth as possible. You can see how quickly the, um, the sander works with 80 grit with this uh, filler. But you can see how thin this is. We are just barely coating this metal. We are basically just smoothing out tiny little ripples. And I sanded farther back with the 80 grit today so that I could spread my filler a little bit farther and really feather it out to nothing. So now I can pull it a little bit tighter. That should be it right there. Clean this edge off a little bit. All right, hopefully that's the last coat. See how it looks once it sands. Okay, I moved the car over to here. I got the interior door panel off of it. Um, I gotta actually take the mirror off. Make sure it's ready to come off. So we have the mirror off and the interior door panel. I put them both in the back seat. Keep them out of the way for now. Um, <clears throat> I've disconnected the stopper right here. This goes to here, and what it does is keeps the door, like if it, let's say you open your door and it's really windy out, it keeps your door from 
over opening and slamming into the fender. So I've already taken that off. So the only thing left to do is to unplug the harness and take the four bolts out for the hinge, which I'll do that in a few minutes. I want to get this door sanded down and spray some primer on it. Uh, see how this sands real quick. Okay, <clears throat> this all looks really good. There was a little bit of funkiness going around here, so I just did a little bit of uh, body filler right there. This feels absolutely perfect. Um, I was able to get the duct tape off of the car. I was able to get it off of here and also off of here. It's a little, little streaky looking from the little bit of residue of glue, um, which I'll wipe off a little bit better with some wax and grease remover. And then I could just run the buffer on that and that'll be just fine so that what that does is stops me from having to get all up into this quarter panel area so now while i'm waiting for that little bit to dry i'm going to grab my door dolly actually for this door i'm not going to worry about the dolly but i'm going to unbolt this door i got to go grab a 10 millimeter wrench so that i can take these bolts out here actually my socket will probably work a short 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 socket so let me go grab that real quick all right i'm going to take out a bolt off the bottom and the top first Unplug this. Might have to unplug it once I get the door off. Hopefully, there's enough slack in that wire. And because I'm working on the door and working on body filler, I will wash my hands between working on this and touching that. Because if I don't, I run the risk of taking grease and stuff from the door jam and getting it on my body filler. So if you're trying to multitask like I am, make sure you keep your hands clean. It's important. So this is just a lever lock. Get which way this goes this way there we go and then it simply unplugs i'm going to shove this in here for now because we're not going to plug the other door in right now because there's no point because we're going to have to take it back off to paint the door jam grab this somehow so I can set it down somewhat easy. You can see the bottom of this door was pretty rusted up. See it? 
Okay, now I gotta get my gar, car dolly, door dolly, so that we can put this door on it once I get this little bit of spray can primer on it. So I gotta find my bolt that I now dropped on the ground. Let me find that and get the dolly and stuff ready. Okay, I'm gonna carefully just spray a little bit of this on there. If you look up the data sheet on this stuff, the Spray Max 1K primer, this can go directly over metal and aluminum. So we can hit these couple spots. There's only a tiny little bit of metal showing right around here. Everything else is completely covered. But we're just gonna hit it real lightly. I kind of just stuck my Bondo board over here just to keep a little overspray off. I'm not gonna go crazy. I just wanna coat this a little bit. Oh, I did sand this with 180 grit. This is gonna soak into this front, uh, blazing putty filler, whatever you wanna call it, really quickly. that dry for a little bit not worried about the door jam over spray we'll clean that up when we sand it down but at least now this is not going to want to um <clears throat> moisture is not going to want to get into that filler it's a little bit iffy out today on the weather i don't know if it's going to rain or not you can see the clouds over there they keep kind of moving in and out it's kind of cool it's about 70 degrees right now so i just don't want to run the risk of it potentially starting to downpour while I'm putting the door on or working on the other panel. So why not just put a little bit of this primer on there? It's it's not super cheap. It's not real expensive, but it's nice to keep this around because I'm going to leave this car outside tonight. So I'm going to have primer on it. Hopefully I get 2K primer on it tonight, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to let that set for a few. We're going to get it into the, um, onto the, uh, the door cart here so that we can get it over to the car and get it bolted on and then we can start seeing how bad that back door is hopefully i can fix that back door rather than getting a new one because i'd rather not get a new one because then that means i need to blend into the quarter panel which you know it just adds more work so to be honest with you i'd rather fix the door save him a little money and keep from giving me more work so we'll see what happens okay let's get the door on the stand and get it bolted to the car this i don't know what's going on with the weather but I don't want to leave the car without a door on it in case it does rain. You can see the clouds here. I just don't know what's going to happen. That's south of us. It's kind of blowing this way. So I'm not sure. So let's get this on in case it does rain. Jack it up a little bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
to tighten it all the way yet. I actually got it pretty good going this way. That was luck. Just got to slide this a little bit this way. That's too far. stick this plug into the hole for now. Not going to plug it in though. this Actually, it fits really good. We got a nice seam all the way down that fender. And you can see what we need to repair here, which is not bad at all. This all feels good right here down. This is a little screwed up in this area. So that's what we need to fix next on this door. So I'm very happy with that. Um, I don't know if I can open this from out here or not. Hey, look, that piece came off I wanted to take off yesterday. Go figure just slid off. It'll go back on. There we go. Just got to tighten that up. See if this hits it all right now. It's close, a little close right here. But that's because this door is actually out a hair. I'm going to have to tap this in right here. Let's see how this front door opens, if I can get it open. Beautifully. I'm very happy with that. So... I'm going to probably take a break for a little bit just in case it does rain because I'm going to have to grind this down to bare metal and we're going to have to stud gun this out down here. We're going to have to hammer this in a little bit up here 
and then uh, we should be good to go. Actually, yeah, and I'm gonna have to see about getting a new molding for this rocker molding. It's a little beat up. See if I can get one from the junkyard. All right, I'm gonna take a break for a little bit. Actually, I wonder if, I wonder if a pry bar might help. The filler on the door is very thin, but I gotta be careful. I don't wanna break the filler. feels okay that definitely helped they kind of rolled this edge in a little bit on this old part of the door okay um i'm very happy with that that's really not going to be too bad of a fix and then we got to fix the door jam up and then uh you know we'll get this body worked back here and then uh get the door jam body worked and then we can 2k primer everything and then the door can come back off so that the jams can get painted and then the door can go on for the final paint like i said i want to blend the paint in the middle of the back door into the middle of the front fender um i'm gonna have to pull off the uh, pinstriping all the way down on the dry on the passenger side okay i ground the metal down now we're gonna start working it with the stud gun it's a little windy outside so the wind's probably going to be a little annoying low spot first. See how the door's starting to move back out. It's gonna do that for a while, in and out. and get a good enough weld on that one.
my body hammer at. Thought I brought one over here. Got a regular hammer. it was warm still. Okay, I'm going to keep doing this off camera for a little while, same as I did the front door, and then I'll come back and we'll take a look at it. Okay, I've got it pretty darn straight. I'm going to go ahead and mix up some filler, put it on, and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, the coat of filler is on. Now, you can see how this is looking really straight like the front door did. <clears throat> if you look here, you can see there's old filler on the bottom of this door, so at one point this door was replaced, but we already know that because the passenger mirror was green inside rather than this color so clearly something happened to this car at one point maybe more than once who knows um i also stud gunned all that out those dents that were in the door jam my bondo work looks like crap because i was trying to fill it in and it's got all these contours and caves and then it started drying on me so it's a little clumpy looking i like to spread it like this way easier to sand than that so in about 10 15 minutes i'm gonna sand this down put another coat on um in here is gonna need a little bit of work I, I i pulled that as far as i could it looks horrible right now because of the filler this kind of when i was rubbing the filler out here it kept rolling in there but we'll get it straightened out i actually haven't even shut the door to see what it looks like yet but it should be getting pretty close yeah we're getting close there this right here is in a little bit though i guess we're gonna have to kind of build that a little bit with mud well you know what maybe it's not maybe because this is tight here making that look bigger we'll sand it and see what it looks like but it's getting there guys and i just i like making this video on these newer cars because i like to show you how long this stuff actually takes to do um so you get an understanding of the body shops and what they go through to fix these vehicles this is minor damage compared to some of these really heavy hit cars so this is just showing you some minor damage repair what it takes to fix it um if you're somewhat of a body guy and handy this is totally something you can do and this would save you thousands of dollars if you did this on your own um i mean a lot of these new cars don't have a ton of adjustments to the body panel so that is where it gets a little critical is if you can't adjust the body panel, that means the body itself is out of whack and it needs to be straightened out in order for the body panels to fit again. But luckily we got lucky here and the majority of the hit was just in the front door. And, oh, I took this uh, piece of stainless off the bottom of the rocker. So I'm gonna see if uh, 
I can go to up to the junkyard tomorrow and grab one of these. Uh, I was able to save two of the three clips. So that clip came off and that clip came off. So if I go to the junkyard and he lets me just pop one off, I don't think he'll charge much for one of these, but he'll probably have me pop it off rather than his guys. Um, so if I can just salvage one more clip, which goes in the middle here, we'll be good to go. So basically it just has three clips and some double-sided tape. You can see the double-sided tape right here. So that's all that was holding that on. So not much to it. The rocker itself is fine. This state piece of stainless took the brunt of it. And I'm surprised this is actually stainless steel and it's not a piece of plastic, which is very surprising to me. But you know what? It saved that rocker molding. That rocker molding's fine. It's not even cracked. Nothing's wrong with it. So got kind of lucky there. But you can see the recesses in the rocker molding, the three spots, and that's where those three clips go. So, all right, I'll be back. Okay, let's knock this down with some 80 grit. sanding it off camera just so I don't waste a bunch of time on the video of me sanding this. Okay, we have a couple high spots again, just like we did on the front door. So we have a good one here. Lightly tap that in. We've got one right here. and put another coat on. I need to come up higher over here. This is a little low right in this area. This is a little low right here. But the door does, the door kind of does, a, the body line's kind of weird right there. But I'm gonna blow this off, put another coat on, and then we'll sand it down again. And the, after I put the next coat on, I'll sand it and then I'll show you what it's looking like. But you get a good idea. And even this edge, I sanded down that and that's looking pretty darn good. Okay. Okay, I ended up doing one more coat of body filler on this area just to make sure it was good. Um, as you can see, it's very thin. You, you can see through it in a ton of spots. So it's not like this is all wadded up or anything. And we got it in here. There's a couple little pinholes in there I'll have to fix afterwards. And then the door jam's all fixed right there. Now I have not shut the front door yet to see how it lines up completely since this last sanding. So let's see. And there it is, guys pretty damn good if I must say. So what I'm going to do now is spray can primer this and the door jam because I don't want to do any 2k primering yet until I fix the rust on the other side and then I'll just 2k primer everything at the same time. But like I said I don't want to leave this outside in case it does rain. It's not supposed to rain. We've been lucky all day. It has not rained. Not supposed to rain tomorrow. So in theory we should be really good. It's windy out today which is nice because wind and the sun make this stuff dry better so it really releases the um you know all the chemicals and everything out of the filler and lets it get a real good dry i finished it with 180 grit just like i did the front door so i'm gonna go ahead and spray some primer on that door and in that jam real quick i'll come back show you what it looks like then i'm gonna end this video the next video we're gonna start on the rust on the other side we're gonna knock it out in one video we're gonna cut the rust out weld in some new pieces use some we're going to use weld through primer in the back of the metal and then we're going to use some uh fiberglass short strand fiberglass as our first coat of filler because there's probably going to be pinholes in the welding because the metal is literally like a pop can and um we'll fill it with that and that's going to keep moisture hopefully to help it last a little longer and then we'll use regular filler over top so let me go ahead and put some primer on here and then i'll be back 
Okay, guys, it's primered. Door jams primered. Oh, I wanted to show you the edge of this door. See the edge of the door here? Nobody would ever know that there's a repair done. It's nice and thin. I got a little bit of filler I gotta get off on the back side, but other than that, it's right at the edge where it's supposed to be. Let's shut it now, see what they look like together. Very happy with that. I'd say that's a nice consistent body joint or body line. Back here, we're nice here. And these are the hinges that were on the car, guys. So you don't always have to change the hinges and stuff. Look at this. It's still got uh, sticky residue from the tape. Even this seam, this seam looks good. Hair big at the bottom, but you know what? I think it's great. And that, let's, let's take a look at the other side, actually. So this is a hair bigger at the bottom of the fender. This is off here from, I don't think that's from the accident. I think that's from a previous damage. Because you can see that this was repainted because there's nick nicks and stuff underneath the new paint um and this is the exact same way bigger up top here and it gets smaller at the bottom so either a the car was in a front end accident and they didn't completely straighten the car right or this is how it came from the factory tough to say i de it's definitely been painted in the front end i could see a variance in the color from here to here this is definitely a darker richer color than this um and also look at this door jam it's just identical to the other side back here you see how this is closer back here same as the other side so i'm very happy with that we're in a good situation uh, you know what else is funny is the bottom of this door is in a little farther than the back door same as the other side so like i said whether or not this came looking like that i don't know you know but it's clearly went back to that exact same setup so we're we're good so this side other than 2k primary taking off this uh, stainless molding here, uh, taking the door handle out, 2K primering this side. We're not gonna primer the whole thing. I gotta be careful here. I gotta not take my 2K primer past this spot right here. I need room to blend that color out. And then over here, I need to be, I probably won't 2K primer that where that ding was. I'll probably leave that with this primer. Maybe I'll put an air coat of that primer because I don't wanna go any farther because I wanna blend this color into the fender. So, all right, guys, that's going to end this video. Next video, we will be fixing the rust on this side. So, basically, by tomorrow, I want to have all this rust fixed. By the end of day tomorrow, all this rust needs to be fixed, and this car needs to be in 2K primer. Because then after that, the next step is paint. And um, once it's 2K primered, maybe tomorrow night I'll take this door off and uh, paint the jam and bake it and put it back on the car. And at least that way, we're good to go for um, the following day to paint it. And once I put the door on for the final time before I paint the exterior, I'm gonna put all the interior panels back together and everything. That's just one less thing I need to do when it comes time to finishing up the car. So thanks for watching guys, more videos coming and I will talk to you guys later.